Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel guys, and today I put together a really nice Town Hall 15 Super Minor attack strategy for you. There they are, just relaxing on the army camp. There's some ice golems over there as well. So we're going to watch some replays in just a moment. First of all, let's have a look at the army composition. So one Super Wall Breaker, one Wizard, four Super Miners, four Electro Titans, one Golem, two Witches, and two Ice Golem spells are going to be six Lightning, one Earthquake, and four Invisibility spells, and a further Rage spell and Free spell to sprinkle on top. Top. Clan Castle troops are going to be five super wizards inside the battle blimp. And on to our first replay. And guys, these attacks were filmed in the developer build. That's sort of where I was practicing using super miners. And this attack strategy seemed to work really well. So I wanted to share it with you against this maxed out Town Hall 15 base. Now, the first stage of the attack is going to be using the earthquake spell and lightning spells to take out a high value target. One earthquake and six lightnings will take out any defense apart from the Eagle Artillery. So on this base, I've gone for the Monolith, and I think it was a Spell Tower next to it. Poison Spell Towers are nasty as well, guys. Anyway, so next stage of the attack, a bit of a funnel there. We've got Electro Titan and Ice Golem on the left. Super Wall Break has been deployed. Rest of the troops in the center. Battle Blimp's got your Super Wizards inside. Grand Warden on ground mode. It's going to freeze it there for a second. We're aiming for sort of a an area just before the Town Hall to uh, unpack the battle blimp there we go there's the invisibility spell and a rage spell and we need the super wizards to take out the town hall now there's some super miners that's what we should be concentrating on they're working through the center of the base they are really good guys they're great and remember when they're taken out they've got a barrel they leave behind which explodes yeah which can do some nasty damage to defenses scatter shots enemy heroes, things like that. So they're doing well helping us through the base. And what I wanted to try and do, the super miners are good because, you know, there's lots of walls at Town Hall 15. I don't know why. No, there is, guys. So we need troops that can go through or under walls. Otherwise, you're going to need loads of earthquake spells. So no, we're doing well here. The Royal Champion's moving through the base. The King's there as well. Heroes and Pets is up to you. You can see the combination I've got uh, sort of in the gameplay and the attack strategy intro at the beginning of this video. The king's the king looks like he's moving quite slowly. We need a bit more uh, urgency, please. Just taking his time. And uh, the, the queen over there on the other side. And we do have Diggy as well helping out one of the pets. Now, guys, the super miners have gone. We do have another replay in just a moment. So don't worry, we're going to see the super miners again today. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to bring you a nice and easy to use Town Hall 15 attack strategy. I like spam attacks. And guys, I found that using the Battle Blimp and either Super Wizards or Super Archers and cloning the Super Archers, it's sort of the best ground attack strategy at the moment because you need to take out that Town Hall and keep your main army away. I think ground attacks are stronger than air attacks, but you've got the problem of walls uh, and taking out the Town Hall. So yeah, the Battle Blimp full of nasty uh, troops such as Super Wizards and Super Archers does the job. So there we go. There's our first replay three stars thank you very much on to the next base so what are we going to do are we going to go after the monolith again with the earthquake spell and lightning spells i think so uh there are there's no poison spell tower so yeah, let's take out the monolith and the invisibility spell next to the town hall that means the town hall obviously won't go invisible anymore after it yeah there we go it's back and then we're going to sort of aim to take out the town hall with the wizards just around where the queen altar is so, Electro Titan on the left with a witch. Same again on the right. It's nice to have Electro Titan or two in the center of the attack as well because they can deal with their aura and their attack. They can take out enemy clan castle troops. So, here we go. Ice Golem's help as well. And the Battle Blimp's moving in. And what I like to do, guys, is I like to put down an invisibility spell first of all, then unpack the Battle Blimp into the invisibility spell, put down the rage spell, and then cycle back to your invisibility spells. Town Hall's gone. And let's be honest here, guys. We didn't get hardly any value out of those Super Wizards. They just took out the Town Hall. So if you are struggling, guys, with using Super Wizards, you can always go for two Yetis or Balloons, and you've got some free spell spaces, haven't you? Because you don't need to use those invisibility spells. I just find on the right base, Super Wizards get you loads and loads of value. Not on this base, let's be honest. I think we just took out the Town Hall and, I don't know, maybe a Mushroom or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, back to the action. The Royal Champion is moving through the center of the base there. She's helping take out the multi-inferno. There's some expos as well. And the, the king again. I don't know what's going on with the king. Just uh, just relaxing, taking his time. It looks like me just walking around. I walk at about the same speed as that, guys. 
uh, sometimes a bit faster if I use a haste spell in real life. A multi inferno. There's a multi inferno there being rather annoying. And guys, true story this. Multi infernos exist in real life. The other day, I was walking to town. I thought I need to get some milk, some bread. But I went a different route that I'd never been before. Suddenly, I heard this that sort of noise, very strange noise. I did an awful impression of it. I was thinking, what was that? I looked down, my shoe was on fire, my hat was on fire, and there's all these sort of uh, fire beams reaching across to me. It was a multi-inferno somebody had installed in their garden. I had to run off. You know, I uh, did complain. I said, you should not have that multi-inferno live during the day, thank you very much, and you need to reduce its range. Uh, they told me it was none of my business, and they bought another one. So they've now got two multi-infernos, and I think I saw them building a scatter shot in the back garden. So just watch out, guys. Clash your clan's defences. They are out there. And be careful. Anyway, uh, the army copy link for this attack is in the video description. I hope you enjoy it, guys. I hope you can use this and have great success with it. And three-star mini bases. Let me know how you get on in the video comments. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And remember on this channel we've got something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favourite content creator in-game by using their code. Our code is code MOOSE. Any support would be amazing and you do need to renew it once a week. See you later, guys. Bye.